Welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World the game. Yes, that's right. I am appearing to you in the screen this time. I thought, why not? Let's, let's get a little bit closer, me and you, you know. Let's turn off the lights and uh, we'll see what uh, fun things happen. So, basic. well, the real reason, not that, that we, I mean, we could still do that uh, if, you, if you're game, but <laughs> um, my real reason, sorry, I need to turn this down. Let's just quickly turn that down, shall we? The real reason why I'm doing this is I saw this amphibians assemble and I was like, ah, it looks beautiful. Um, so it's a weekend battle event, an array of amphibian rarities. We have Priantuchus, Kool Aid, Morton, and Flaffy. Like, I mean, we're not missing anybody here. Uh, there are a few, but we got the top characters. I'm so glad Kool Aid is there. So uh, as you can see, I have 76. Thousand DNA, which is just a, just a smidge, just a little bit. Uh, so I'm gonna go in and hatch my Hatsakapa Carpeterix. God, look at it, it's like swan neck, it's so elegant and pretty. So, what is it? It is a legendary pearl, that's awesome. Uh, Amphibians, three commons. So, I'm guessing we'll go three commons, three, uh, three rares, and then maybe three legendary and supers. Because last time they did this, it was rarity just in general, and it was three, um, Oh, that's awesome! We get it. Oh, I'm so excited! We're gonna use Flaffy. Uh, so let me just go through. I'll just collect all of my gold, or at least the main ones. I think if I collect from these, that's like almost a million coins right there. And then mm, my carnivores aren't doing amazingly well, but they're there. They're not. It's not so bad. It's not so. What's it? It's not so bad. It's not so place. So shut up your face. <laughs> say that to anybody who complains too much. Just say. It's not so bad. It's a nice place. Shut up in your face. Because life's too short, yo. That's what the cool kids are saying. All this YOLO and... Oh, what do we have? <gasps> we are so close. We need what? 3,000... 8,000? 8,000 more uh, food and then we can get that. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. But first, let's do the amphibian showcase. And it's all Flaffies. Ooh, interesting. This could be quite a tight battle. Um, I'm going to go for my Flaffy. And then my two lab lab labyrinths. Um, I can't see any way that this could go wrong. So let it not go wrong. So 340 fluffies. I mean, you can't really get better than that. Fluffy has a lot of health. That's what I'll say. It has like 73 damage, but loads more health than labyrinths. So I use my Fluffy to get an extra sort of boost, so it's sort of a meat shield, but you can't really use meat shields because it's a rock, paper, scissors sort of tactic now. Um, and not just health and attack and uh, saving all your blocks and specials, as it was in Jurassic Park Builder. So I'm going to use, I am using Fluffy as a bit of a meat shield here, because it's going to take uh, more hits than Labyrinth will. It goes for four, two hits is not enough. So actually, um, I think it had five. And it went for four, right? It went for four. So it's got like one block. So three kills it. Fact of that one block. I'm hoping I might have done a little bit of a miscalculation. Oh, it did it go for... Did it use all of its goes? It might have. Did you? Did you do it? No, I was right. But it, it, strangely, it seems to happen more often than not now. But... If you, they go for an attack, they put the rest in for block. Uh, so I'm going to put in two just in case here. And it does go for two. Flaffy gets the double kill. Double kill. So pretty. <laughs> so we're on to the final Flaffy. Um, so it has six. Seven, that's right, because I have five. Remember. So it's going to go for five. Um, yeah, let's kill this. So it's gone for two block. Five, six, seven. Leaves two for block. It will go for the two block. And if it doesn't... Well, it doesn't matter what it does here, because it's at 90 damage, so that... What is that? Two hits. Take it to 216. Yeah, there's nothing it can do. And it went for one block, one reserve. Strangely enough. Um, which still... It's over 1,000! And Labyrinth takes the victory. Beautiful! That's right, live it up, buddy! So how's your day been today? Been good? Of course, it's glorious! It's a lovely day here in England. Um, just when it's sunny, you feel happier. I feel happier today. That's why. Oh, oh it's all Kool Aids! So much Kool Aid! Are you thirsty? Well, you won't be for much longer. Yeah, it's like a lovely day today. I thought I would do something different with the episode. So I'll just bring in the green screen. And uh, before you, there you go. I'm like right here talking to you. Me and you, we got a connection. Not like anybody else. 
just me and you. So, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Amphibian's rare. Level 21 plus. But it's given me everything. Can I just use one Indominus? Wait, what? I can? It said Amphibian's rare, level 21 plus. But I just put in an Indominus. So that doesn't make any sense. I mean, I wouldn't... I, there's only one Amphibian that's rare, and that is Kool-Aid. So it would just have to be Kool-Aid's. That does not make sense. Maybe they've... They, and this is just new, so maybe they need to fix that. Anyway, Kool-Aid's out. But, uh, Indominus has sort of got it. I think they've wasted all of their gold... All of their goals on it. Indominus can kill in one hit. So I'm gonna go for one hit. And then reserve, reserve, reserve. And a block. Yeah, look at that. One hit. Indominus takes it out. So, it's one hit to kill all of these. It just depends what they do. Even if they go for four attacks... Not that they can. It's not gonna kill me. So I went for three! Ah, oh, 500. Ooh. Ooh, you cheeky, cheeky bot. So it's got no, no, uh, no blocks, no reserves. Uh, I'm gonna go for three just in case, and a four. <laughs> Easiest battle ever, I gotta say. Yeah, the reason why I don't do the green screen as much is, um, like, I do with Facecam Sundays and stuff, and that, that's because I want to sort of get on a more personal level with you. Not that we can't get on a personal level with Jurassic World the game. It's just, I feel like there's no real need for me to be in it. Um, because you want to see you want to see this stuff, right? Of course you do. Um, so we're just going to go for a full-out attack. Because it has, oh my god. Indominus actually got an extermination. <laughs> that's really rare to kill three of the same creature. And if we didn't get hit, we could have gotten, um... Extermination. We could have gotten untouchable, but we did get hit, so... I'm wondering what, what the next one's gonna be. So that's 500 DNA. Not that I needed it, uh, Ludia, but I'll take it. So Amphibian's super rare, level 11 plus. But again, I can put in anything. So... And it... Uh, doesn't make sense. Because the only super rare Amphibian would be Morton, so you would have to put Morton in. Um, done. Peck out your eyes has is, is got it. Easy. I mean, I do have level 40 of all of these, so... It's too easy. It's too easy! And I think... It, it's broken. I think you're only supposed to put in... Any Mortons that you've got. Like, the first one was fine. It was like, oh, here's, here's your commons, use them. But now, yeah, that, it doesn't make sense. I could kill it in... Three, because it just did, it did just go for two, which didn't kill me. So if I go for three, it will kill it, but it's, it's better the Peck Out Your Eyes gets the goes rather than Morton in this sort of case, because, well, I mean, I could go for it now, but yeah, whatever, let's go for it. Plus two block and a reserve, and it didn't go for any block, so we went for the, yeah, too much, too much overkill there. 2007, seven hendo. So it has five. It's going to go for two here. And I bet you it's gone for three block. So brings in. Back out your eyes. Yeah. Eyeballs. My babas are getting hungry. So did it go for three block? No. It went for one. So it's got two. Two for reserve. Even if it went for a five. Four. Four's not enough. It's going to do like what? 900. Okay. It did a lot. So, it's got one block, so one is killed, it factor in that one block, then one, two, three, four, and then two reserve. There is nothing that the next Morton can do. If it goes for full on four, it does nothing. If it goes for all reserves, my two hits can kill it, um, because it'll have four for block. If it goes for all block, it's, yeah, there's nothing it can do. So let's say it went for all block now. It went for four block, one hit kills it. So I could go for five and kill it, I could go for six and kill it. If it went for all reserve, it doesn't matter because it ain't getting another go. <laughs> and would you look at that? It went Double for three kill. reserves. Almost 9,000. Yes! I balls tonight! Juicy round, beautiful pearls. Uh, like, uh, somebody sent me a video, and I think it was their daughter, uh, to like peck out your eyes. It was so adorable. Like, to think that things I do for fun, like YouTube and just making these characters. It can bring so much fun and laughter to other people. 
and like joy and happiness. It's just like not to get too uh, emotional, but it's it's one of the best feelings in the world. It really is. So we got a legendary pack. What are we going to get? Is that a Shinosaurus? It has to be. It has to be a Shinosaurus, right? It has to be. Because there's no other legendary. And we get 1,600 DNA! Almost 80,000! Oh my god. So we need about 60,000 for two Indominuses. And that would bring us to a level 30. But again, you guys might be screaming at the screen saying, Why? Just buy it now. But I'm saving. I'm saving for this amphibian, amphibian park that's going to hit at some point this month. It could be, could be tomorrow. It could be the end of the month. I think probably at the end of the month. That's probably when they're going to do it. Um, probably, probably, probably. And there it is, Shunosaurus. So do we have two of those? Uh, let's have a look. I have already one made. I don't have any other ones. So that would make us a level 20 Shunosaurus. Now, you've got to be strategic about the way you, uh, have your incubators set up. Your hatcheries, sorry. Now, people ask me all the time, can I have hints? How do you play this? Is it, like, show me. Just make a video of ways to get things quick and stuff. So... If you have a legendary or what have you, never ever accidentally put it in, uh, that's the only way you're gonna do it. Never put it in the first hatchery. Don't do that because you need to save that for commons, rares, and things like that. Because if a, uh, you don't wanna spend 10 bucks on placing a common in. So place a common in your first slot. That's always gonna be emptied and it's completely free to put something in. Um, now, I would suggest only ever use two hatcheries. Uh, there is no need because the next one costs, what, 20? 25? Yeah, the next hatchery costs 25 and the one after that costs 50. And there is no need for you to ever get those two. You only put something in that takes a long time. And then before you go to sleep, you ha by the time you wake up, if before you go to bed, if you put in a super rare, when you wake up, it's going to be ready. If you sleep for about eight hours, which you should normally sleep. If you don't sleep that much... You're probably gonna be tired. At least me, I need eight to ten hours sleep because uh, I'm a lazy bugger. A lazy bones. Um, so common's gonna be done uh, by the time you wake up. A rare would be done. Uh, even if you just go out somewhere, rare's gonna be done. And this is if you check it loads of times a day. If you check it tw two or three times a day, this will work perfectly for you. Um, before you go to bed, always put like a super rare in that slot, in the first slot. Uh, legendary is definitely for the second. Third, fourth. Third and fourth slot are just in case you want more legendaries. Put, do not put commons in those ones. Don't do it. Because even speeding up, you've spent more on the uh, on putting it in than you would speeding it up. Um, how much are we doing for hatchery? Oh, 8,000. Just like that. Awesome. So we get 50 bucks again. Whoo! Because I was, I was verging below 3,000 the last episode we did. So I've just got it up like doing... Normal playthrough. I don't want to spend any more money on this game. I just want to do it legitimately. Uh, so what pa card pack do we have? Oh, saying that, there's an amphibian pack. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do the amphibian pack because I've done it. I've done it in the past and I usually end up with Kool-Aids. And if we have a quick, quick, a quick, cheeky look at Kool-Aid, we have enough to get a level 30 Kool-Aid and a level 40. Um... I kind of want to do that. I want to get three Kool-Aids and three Unicorn Wizards. As you can see... Oh, we need to feed the Unicorn Wizard. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you hungry, buddy? You know, being a wizard is an exhausting business. You need all the food you can get. So I'll feed it to level five. There we go. Next time we can feed it a little bit more. Um, but really, we need another Dimetrodon in order for it to get up the magic. In order to look like that. To look amazing and to get magical powers of gorgeousness. Prime suit is just chilling there. Is there anything else we need to level? Oh, Paki Seven of Swords. Let's get a level 40, shall we? Um, the way the park is right now, it's a mess. It is a mess, I will admit. I sort of want to sell everything. Um, but I'm already on 90 million coins, so selling things is just not productive at this point. Um, but it's, it's a mess, and I've seen so many people on the Jurassic World the group on Facebook... Uh, people messaging me like they've got gorgeous looking parks and I sort of want to take the best um, looking parks that people have made and then just make them my own. I, I want to keep this area though. If we have we if we have, you know, one, two, three, four, five creatures that make loads of coin, no matter what we have our park set up, we'll always get coin no matter what if we have these. So 
Uh, that's what I like to do. Keep this as a money-making machine. And then have the rest of the park. Maybe have this segment here. Because uh, I saw some gorgeous looking areas that people have done. I, I want to keep the forest in the middle. Because once you destroy the forest, it does not come back. So, um, people who do that, who save it. And plus, what? it's cool to do this. You ready? <gasps> T-Rex in the mist. Oh, he's in the jungle. Look at him go. <gasps> that looks awesome. He's like hiding. Oh, what you gonna do, T-Rex? <gasps> he's hiding. And then, he's close to the fence! Is he gonna break out and wreak havoc on the park? Probably not, because the game doesn't do that, but it looks awesome. <gasps> Look at him go. Oh, surveying his surroundings. Her surroundings, sorry. And then, back into the jungle. Beautiful! And you can put them here as well. I saw some people just putting it on the Mosasaur exhibit. <laughs> that was kind of cool. You can put it anywhere. Can you put it on the monorail? Oh, you can put it on the beach! On the trees! Oh, I never... Like, really, can you place it at You can! <gasps> on the ferries! <laughs> that looks awesome! Oh, it's a little bit too low. How about a helipower? Oh! It's a, it's a T-Rex copter. And can you put it in the ocean? Yes. And it won't let me place it on the ocean. That's a shame. Okay, so level 40. Um, I was going to do the Pachycephalosaurus because we have enough. I'm going to speed through these again. We've, we've got enough DNA and enough books, so... Uh, we don't really need to save it. So that is a level 20. I think we have a level 30, though. Yeah, we have a level 30. We, oh, we have enough for a level 40. Exactly. So we just level that up to level 20. And evolve 50 DNA and 115... It's not bad, and plus it does it first time, because they're rare, so the chances of failing is not very high. Bling bling! So that is two level 20s, one level 30. And then it will be two level 30s. I think Pachycephalosaurus is more health. I think it's 60 DNA and 30 to speed up. Oh, thank god. Thank god I did it first time. So that is a three star Pachycephalosaurus, so that's two of those we have. And feed you. You get 100 attack, don't you? 100 attack and 300 and something health. Monophosaurus, a level 20, is better than a level 30 uh, Pachycephalosaurus. And that's 10 levels difference. And they're both res. So that's quite interesting. Uh, so we're going to fuse them. And this is it. The, my first level 40. So 47 bucks. <laughs> I don't like doing this. Oh, come on! No, I don't want to go under 3,000 bucks. I'm crossing my fingers, crossing my toes. Will we get it? We're about to find out. Oh, thank God. Woo. A DNA is not too much of a hit, but the books are. And there it is. Look at it. Oh, my God. That's scary looking. Can we look behind its crown? It's got, like, spikes. Oh, I ne it's because I've never had one. I've never seen what's behind its crest. Ooh. Ooh. It's, so it's like an ankylosaurus. But to me... It looks really crusty and uh, it, it sort of reminds me of like a dry foot. Ugh, like callus. Oh! No, nah, I don't want to look at it. No. Ah. <laughs> so let's quickly feed it. Oh. I mean, it looks cool. Don't get me wrong. It really does look cool. Oh, look at it eat. Um, yum, yum, yum. Is that a nice plant? No, I'm nice a plant. And it's got more horns. It's like Unicorn Wizard's arch rival. Um. You see, I like the animation because it sort of grinds its teeth like... Mm -hmm. A bit like a horse would because horse have teeth at the back of the head. Back of the mouth, sorry. So I'm going to see that animation once more. Wow, it's quite aerodynamic, like, over its skull. It's quite. It's not like like it flaks up. It's sort of tilted down, so it is a bit, um, a little bit aerodynamic. Um, 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 um. Lovely green. So 452 health, 141 damage. It's not bad. It makes 217, sorry, 21,000 coin. It ain't bad. So let's tap it and make it angry. Yeah! Get off! Blah, blah. So that is going to have to be the end of the episode because I'm running out of time here on this beautiful camera. And if you enjoyed this face cam, leave a comment telling me that if you want to see more of it, it's easy doable. Um, and I'd love to sort of see. But if you like this sort of content, check out Facecam Sundays. And until next time, I'll see you later.
Oh, well, why? So hello, and welcome to the end title cards. That's right, I'm putting these in. And they're all different, they're all special. They're gonna be a little message from me. I just wanna say thank you guys uh, for all the support you've shown me. This channel has grown like stupendously. Uh, no matter how many times I say thank you, it will never be enough. So my thank you is this little extra bit that I'm starting to put on the end of videos. And you can check out this video and this video. And you can also subscribe because that really helps me out. And if you like the content, um, it's just a great way if you subscribe then whenever a new video comes out You'll be alerted to it uh, straight away. So yeah, just want to say thank you. So until next time. Bye